everybody, Jeff Schneider here. In today's video, I'm going to break down a song that I wrote for my son, actually, a few weeks or a few months after he was born. I played this on my Instagram page about a week ago, so if you're not following me on Instagram, definitely do that. Um, but let's get to the chords of this song because there's some interesting things happening there and I wanna explain what I'm doing. So first I'll play the song and then we'll break it down. So here we go. If I wrote you a lullaby Would you remember how it goes When you get old enough to fall asleep Without me by your side I'd write melodies And harmony That make you dream In symphony if I wrote you a lullaby I'd cry as I try To find the words How do I say I love you In a thousand sweet ways So the intro to the song is basically what I play at the end So we'll hold off on the intro, we'll get to it at the very end of the song um, so it starts off like this. Before we get into it though, I do want to mention that Stanky Loops Volume 1 is available now. This is a collection of 42 original loops that are royalty free. You have the audio, you have the MIDI, you have the sheet music, you can learn from it, you can produce with it, you can play with it on the piano. It's neo soul chords, it's jazz chords, it's R&B chords, uh, more specifically chord progressions in very original sequences. But um, if you like the loops that I have put out in the past, then you're going to love what's in Stanky Loops Volume 1. All right, guys, let's get into the song. Uh, this is sort of an F add nine over A, so. Going to F over G to an F6. And functionally, there's not that much going on there. It's basically the four chord going to the five chord back to the four chord with different bass notes. So from there, we're gonna continue going down the scale, watch the bass. So we went A, G, F, E, D, C, and then back to F. All right, let's take from the top. Then we're gonna do the same thing. The bass is gonna go down. And then keep going down. I love that harmony. Those tenths there sound really, really nice. From there, we're going to go to uh, C add 9 over E, back to the F add 9 over A, some sort of D minor. You could do D minor 7 if you want. So that whole sequence goes like this. And then this C major is going to climb up now. We're going to go from C major, D minor, C over E, to C over G. I think I better recap. I'm going to do it from the beginning once more. Now we're on the C over G. We're going to do F sharp 7 to F major 7. This is a classic tritone substitution. F sharp 7 is the tritone away from C7, which is the dominant of F. So, uh, by the way, we're in the key of C major originally. We're going to the four chord here, which is F. And instead of doing the secondary dominant, which would be C7 going to F, we're going to do the tritone substitution of that C7, which is F sharp 7. You 
you can hear how nicely that resolves. So that becomes F minor 6, F major 7 resolving to F minor 6 is a really nice use of modal mixture there. The F minor 6 is being borrowed from the C minor scale. That's what that modal mixture is. Then, this is interesting. The F minor is actually going to act as a pivot chord. We're going to do a very brief modulation to the key of E flat major. And F minor is the two chord within the context of E flat major. So when I say pivot chord, I mean it as uh, we're using that, that chord to pivot into a new key. It's going to connect us from C to E flat. So I'll play the whole sequence from, um, from that climb. So we're going to do E flat major 7 to uh, some sort of C major 7, maybe C major 9 if you, if you want to add that in there. All right, so very briefly we're on that E flat major uh, 7 chord, and then it resolves right away to C major 7. And then we're going to go to uh, F major 9 to B flat 9. Now, believe it or not, the B flat 9 is somewhat similar to the F minor 6 that we had previously. So before we did the F major 7 resolving to F minor 6, now we're doing the F major 9 resolving to B flat 7. Now look at the notes in B flat 7. It's basically an F, F minor 6 with the B flat, so you can see the similarity there. But the B flat 7 does have a brighter sound compared to the F minor 6. So now we're back at the chord we started with, the very first F add 9. But from there we're going to go to... I would call this, believe it or not, I would call this an F minor major 7 over A flat with a 9. This is the G7 sus resolving to G7. And then we go to a G sharp diminished chord with this E on top of it. Now this is actually coming from a traditional G sharp diminished 7, but a common thing to do on diminished 7th chords that I really like is to play a note that's a whole step above one of the main chord tones in the diminished chord. So to play this in a basic root position, you see here, this is the G sharp diminished 7. Now a whole step above the notes that you see here, you have some options here. You could play, you could play that note right there. You could play, this is a whole step above the B. Now I'm doing the whole step above the, the D. And you get that really nice crunch. Um, and I'm using it in the voicing you see right here. And that's going to resolve to A minor, I believe. So I'll take it from that section. A minor 7. This is a B flat major 13. D9. A flat 7 sharp 9 sharp 5. Finally resolving to C over G. Let's take one more look at that. Now this is where I start the intro that I was talking about before. This is the end of the song that I use as a lead-in to the very beginning. So this is basically C over G with a little passing chord in there. D minor triad. And just basically harmonizing the melody. Classic, four, three, two, one, walk down. That's F, C over E, D minor, 
and that nice gospel finish. So I'll play it through once more with just the music. So I hope you guys like the song. Harrison, if you're watching this in a few years, I hope you like the song. If you have questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And if you haven't checked out Stanky Loops Volume 1, what are you waiting for? It's going to knock your socks off. Or as I say in the uh, blurb on the website, it's going to melt the stink right off your face. I think that's what I wrote. Anyway, goodbye. Thanks for watching.